whenever we do a show like CES, we see a lot of cool stuff. But of course, one of the things that we're most passionate about is gaming PCs. So we've gone ahead and we've created a couple of lists of the top five gaming desktops that we saw and the top five gaming laptops, and this is the latter. Our first of our top five Intel-based gaming laptops of CES 2016 is the Razer Blade Stealth and its accompanying accessory, the Core. So the Stealth is actually an Ultrabook. It's thin, it's light, it's compact at only about a half an inch thick and 2.75 pounds, but it doesn't have a dedicated GPU. More on that in a moment. It features an IGZO display, which is similar to IPS at up to a 4K resolution. It's got per-key RGB backlighting, unlike many other gaming laptops that are only the entire thing or per zone and the pricing starts at an impressive $999 for the base model which has a Core i7 and a 1440p screen and up to $1599 for the 4K 512 gig model. Pricing that wouldn't be so impressive if it wasn't so well built. Okay, back to the GPU. The core accessory is an external GPU enclosure that connects via Thunderbolt 3 and gives any video card you could pretty much want to install a PCI Express 3.0 4X connection. In theory, by the time it's released, it will be plug and play and you will simply be able to plug it in without rebooting and go from onboard graphics to up to a GTX Titan X. Razer was in fact demoing it with both rear exhaust cards and blower style cards and we don't have any information about pricing but this is one impressive little piece of technology. Our second gaming laptop is the Asus GX700. It is a liquid cooled laptop. Need I say more? Maybe not, but I will. It uses an external dock with connectors at the back of the laptop. You just slide it in and use a lever on the top to lock it in place and start the coolant flow. Both the CPU and GPU are water-cooled and the cooling components inside use copper. There are two 90mm radiators and heat pipes can actually provide conventional cooling when the laptop is not in the water cooling dock. The current design is closed loop, meaning it's not meant to be messed with, but a more modifiable version might be coming later on. The laptop itself features a desktop GTX 980, a 4K IPS display, and 30 key rollover, just in case you're playing with, oh, I don't know, three people all at once. It'll be available no sooner than March 2016, and the price is not going to be lower than uh, over $2,000. Up next is the EVGA SC17. Yes, friends, EVGA made a gaming laptop. Considering that it has a Skylake Mobile Core i7 and a GTX 980M, it's not too bulky, about an inch thick, and you get an option for a 4K screen at a size of 17.4 inches. It's got a 1080p front camera, that'll be nice for you game streamers out there, and EVGA is planning to bring G-Sync support to the main screen later on in the year. They are also touting quiet performance while gaming as one of the main features of this device and it'll be available in late Q1. The Lenovo Y900 is up next. Now, Lenovo is obviously more known for their business notebooks, but they are trying to appeal to gamers as well, and there aren't very many compromises with this product. You can get an overclockable Skylake i7, a couple of 256 gig PCIe SSDs in RAID 0, and a GTX 980M is standard. It's got a one-touch turbo button for quick overclocking through the Lenovo Nerve Center Windows application. I like that that nod to the old days where you'd press the turbo button on your 386. It features an IPS display and starts at $2,000 with availability coming in June. There will also be a Razer edition for a little more money. Very interesting. The last of our top five here is the Gigabyte Aorus X7 DT. This is very similar to the previous Aorus X7 with the main difference being that instead of SLI graphics cards, it now features a single of Nvidia's new GTX 980 desktop graphics cards that fits in a laptop. And while that might not be that new necessarily, what I like about the X7 DT is that unlike other desktop GTX 980, notebooks, it features a very, very slim 
profile. They've also made some other updates, including adding USB Type-C to the side I.O., making this a pretty attractive looking piece. Thanks for checking out our top five Intel-based gaming notebooks at CES 2016. Don't miss any of our show content by checking out the playlist that we've hopefully by now created of all of it. And don't miss any of our videos in general by subscribing to Linus Tech Tips. We will see you again on the flip side.